Urk has to be one of the best characters this game. Since the lonely are sleeping, go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri. Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. <sighs> As for you, show up like Lazarus himself. Name thing in a May self. This chalky bastard. He's either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invades rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. <laughs> I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Blinking it is, then. That was funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict pain on someone else. A little man that's busted up in eight of us. But it doesn't, does it? It done. Spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. <laughs> Look where it fucking got me. It's the sense of changing. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, and I imagine you'll be wanting your cut of the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But a deal's a deal. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> What's that even mean? <laughs> Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. Man's after just drinking a whole glass of moonshine and he's just like, I'll just drive, it's okay, boys. <laughs> but like the game's been a lot of fun so far. Like I said, I appreciate everybody who recommended. Do I want to drive out this gate, bro? Is this like the devil's gate? <laughs> Wait, where have we got to go? I think we've got to do a sit down, didn't we? Call for sit down. Oh, this is the, uh, whenever you get like the flashbacks, this is them talking about us going to the bayou to have a sit down with everybody. He also wanted me to go and see Nikki as well, didn't he? He said she's around here somewhere. Right, let's go find Nikki. Thanks for earlier. My old man used to be whip smart. If anyone tried to pull some shit on him, he saw it coming a mile away. Now, fuck. Now he barely knows the goddamn day of the week. Said you could use some help. Some of our boys are down the bayou. 
If you could get the shine from them and bring it back, it'd make my life a lot easier. Why, you ain't exactly my favorite place in the world. Come on now, the redneck assholes that live down there just love it when black folks drop by for a visit. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Ain't been time for small talk, but... Where you at with all this? All I really want is for everything to go back the way that it was. Before Vietnam, before that night. Back when everything felt... Normal? At least our version of it, anyway. We are the righteously fucked. He is so big. <laughs> Danny. Was he in any pain? Did he suffer? Don't. Ain't nothing good coming from that. Who says I need good to come from it? Georgie shot him in the head. Looked like he went pretty quick. I hate this fucking town. I better go. Yeah. Okay. Lincoln. Just because Bobby Ev is dead doesn't necessarily mean this neighborhood is firmly in our control. If he's still got any men hanging around, you should think about clearing them out. Oh, I got you, Nikki. Don't you worry. So I ended up spending, look, we had a ton of cash. We had like 50, we had near 58,000. So I went and purchased the AK. So it means now we've got the silence pistol, got the AK. You no, know I mean, just in case a few people want to run up on us. Look, I love... Or AKs goes the whole way back to like Call of Duty 4. If you ever played COD 4, if you played any of the old Call of Duties, like the AK always absolutely slapped. There's just something cool about an AK. So we switched out. That means we got a little more firepower now. So I'm gonna go, let's go and do the call uh, for a sit down mission. I think this is the one they were talking about where everybody sat down and Lincoln was explaining how we were gonna take Marcano down. So I think this is this mission. So we'll go do this. Jeez, he's got his gun out already, just in case. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust you. Hey, get the two. fuck out, then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Oh, damn. Now, we're all done acting like goddamn children. Let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes. 
But let's not overthink this shit. Let's say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so. Not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, Cassandra's guys. right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day to day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Dude, you don't pass with Lincoln, though. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. <laughs> and the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're in plain fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. He's got a point though, no I mean like you just, if you take out the legs from underneath him, like what are they gonna do? The map has additional missions available, meet up with Donovan to continue going after Marcano or complete optional agenda and trafficking missions for your underbosses and their lieutenants. Completing agenda and trafficking missions nets you extra cash and increases your underboss and underboss's loyalty. Press X on the map to select uh, which Donovan missions or optional agenda and trafficking missions. Sign of the Times is now available to play. Hold on, that's all the DLCs. Oh, I haven't finished the, the, the game yet. <laughs> right, so... Hey. Hold on. Lincoln, come pick me up. There's something we need to talk about. It's about Marcano? All right. See you soon. Yeah, I got you, big man. I got you. Hot rubber and cold blood. That's a lot of missions. Oh, oh, god damn. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff up, opening up now. What's this? Faster baby. Right, that's the DLC, is it not? We'll meet with Donovan. We've got to meet with Donovan there. Meet with Donovan in three separate locations. What's this one? Creature of Habit. That's another DLC, I think. And then this one is Meet Father James. Right, okay. So those ones, perhaps we're not going to start the DLC before we finish the story. So we'll hop over. We'll go to this one and we'll go meet Donovan. Is there anything else on the map? So like I said, I'm always usually pretty honest with games. I enjoy most games. Like I really do. I can sit down and probably play a game. It's like a two out of 10 and probably still find stuff about it I love. And like I said, one, one thing I wish you could do in this game is fast travel. Because like I have, probably have to drive the whole way back up to Donovan. Probably, I wish I could just fast travel to see where like the bosses' houses. If we could just like fast travel to the bosses' houses, because sometimes the driving is fun, but like driving the whole way up the map every single time to go to a mission, that's one thing I wish they would have changed. It's just like I said, just a wee bit of fast travel. We're lazy. I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. 
Most of the time, it smells like that goddamn river. Smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. And the Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then. Hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tickfall Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano. And he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's got to be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now, and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we got to force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. Hey, Donovan's having a wee bit of a bad day, is he? <laughs> Granted, if you weren't used to this type of heat, it would be horrendous. It'd be like me, I live in a country it's like cold and it rains all the time. But like going and living somewhere that's probably as warm as this would be an absolute nightmare. Talk to Gina Kowalski, Lieutenant Frank Pagana. The loyal Lieutenant Frank Pagana is always um, a capo Tommy Marcano's uh, back. He's at his back and call and is willing to do whatever Tommy asks for him. Uh, Frank's only concern is keeping his claws in armed. Um, right, so busy, we're going to have to mess up the harbor. Elimin and Frank will undoubtedly reveal it'll tell against Tommy Marcano right away. We have a ton of missions. Right, let's go talk to Gina, whoever she is. Oh, damn, she got some nice cars here, though. Oh, is that a little Shelby Cobra? Okay, that's fucking, that is nice. Can we get that in game? Is that one of the options? Okay, that's kind of nice, kind of like the red. Blue cars, okay, you know what I mean? I'm more of like a little sports action. That is absolutely stunning. Shelby Cobras are really nice, but like, God, trying to get your hands on one, you'd end up having to make like a kit car. I've seen a bunch of people have like kit car versions of them. Still expensive as fuck, but they look really cool. Hey, over here. Yeah, yeah, what's up, what's up? So you the scary motherfucker who gonna deal with Junior Holland. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate around Eastern. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the best old gas station around the way. Without some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Junior's boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. Oh, we'll get them to talk, don't you worry. So there was a small mission around the corner. We've got to destroy the boosted car. <sighs> What if the cars are really cool, though? I don't want to destroy them if they're badass. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of people in here, but this could also be a good opportunity for us to try out our new AK. There's OK, there's a ton of money. Please don't be. They are. Some of them are really cool looking. <sighs> right. How do we get in here without anybody spotting us? There is a guy on the door. What? What? What was that? Big mistake, asshole! The fuck is coming for us? Oh, where did he go? I am. We got a score to settle now. Mm-hmm. Well, why'd you come on out and settle that score then? You just, he just molotoffed himself. You fucking idiot, bro. Bro, look at that. I 
really a content I need to get in a little closer. Yeah, I don't fucking miss. The fuck, get him. Back me up, boys. Bro. Like yes, you are. Can I shoot this? That's some bullshit, bro. Come on, I should be able to shoot that, right? Grabbing some cover. Shit! Fucking stuck! <laughs> just shot the car once and killed me! That's some bullshit! Right, that never happened? We'll just edit that part out. Oh, look guys, we're at this brand new mission that we've never done before. I wonder what could happen. Sometimes the slowdown time is fantastic, but a little weird sometimes too. I could have swore shot that man in the face the first time, but apparently we didn't. We may as well get this box while we're here. Right, so with 31... Ugh, dude, I don't... Off, if dipshits are gonna leave gas in their fucking tank, of course just I'm take it. It's my godly duty where I see it. Right, I'm gonna get behind this. Hopefully this doesn't blow. Dude, look at some of these cars though. I don't wanna blow these up. My dog's gonna love violating your calls. Your dog ain't doing shit to me, bro. I like dogs, don't be weird. Not gonna lie, the AK's pretty solid. See, just. <sighs> that went so smooth. Like for our first try, that went fantastic. Shut up. Look, I know what you are going to say. Look, it wasn't my fault. The car, uh, the game cheated. Oh, I don't want to blow these cars up, dude. Like some of these are. Look at this Shelby Cobra. This thing look pretty sick. No, I mean, it's not my style, but it's got the big engine and all in the middle. And you've got an R Cobra. Oh, this one looks pretty sick too. I like this. I don't want to blow these up, but we're kind of kind of half two for the mission. There's no way that hurt me from there, right? Oh, it's actually not that. Okay, that's why the car blew up when I was standing beside it because it, it takes like literally nothing. There we go. Oh, oh, that was a big chunk. Holy shit. That was like 30 G. Hold on. Is there anything in here? There's a bunch of cash. Let's get all that. Let's get all that. Ooh, okay, okay. I don't have that. Right, what else? Cash wise? Dude, okay, there's the big stack. That's an extra, dude. We're back up. We, we're pretty much back up. Like, I think we're like 10 grand short to where we were before we bought the AK. I'm not gonna lie, I do like the AK. It's pretty solid. So, one of the missions just popped up. Let's go and talk to Pablo Duarte. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It just says, go and find out why he's wanting to help you. So, uh,. Oh, he's a guy, he just works at the dock. Right, okay, right, okay. Oh, is that a little slice of pizza, bro? Dude, I would love some pepperoni pizza right now. That'd be great. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah, Pablo Duarte. You're with the company? Not exactly. That gotta be a problem. If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Tagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Bob Scotland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit, it's sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Bob has had to resort to airdrops. They move them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. The fuckers working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them. This is busy along the same sort of lines of the stuff we've got to do. We've basically got to go and, like, 
grab some people. We've got to like uh, interrogate their lieutenants and stuff. What's the ship one? Steal pops smuggling money. So basically, we just got to steal a wee bit of money and go and kill a guy. I can do that. What happens if you live off? So we've got to kill a guy called the ferret. <laughs> Next time, keep your damned mouth shut. Y'all hear that? Come on, I ain't got all goddamn day. I'll uh -huh. find a bastard. <clears throat> Dipshit, we got off. Taking cover. I see him. There he is. Here we go. You see nothing? <laughs> Does he realize he's running right at me? <laughs> you didn't wing a goddamn thing, bro. What you talking about? I need you to. Just calm down. Don't need you snitching. Whoa, getting under cover. Don't think I'm dead. Or... God, you fucking... I thought I'm not gonna lie, I thought I hit him with that. Right, is this dude running? Bro. I got to get the AK out for you. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna lie, I missed about the first like five shots. What the f no? I thought this was over. Right, we've got a couple of things to destroy. Is it their money? All right, so we just got to destroy some property. Hold on, is this our guy? You one? Okay, a range the AK is not great, boys. Not great, but up close it kind of slaps a little bit. Right, let's destroy these. the rest of these things. Are they inside here? Right, there is also some cash over here. Because uh, apparently being Link and Clay gets a little expensive. Because <laughs> I have to keep topping up all my fucking uh, all my ammo all the time. Hold on, is there another guy? Are they in a complete? Are they in a completely different warehouse? I don't think I need to go over and like mess with them. Ones. Not our bro, I've got fucking loads of places to hide. On this one. There we go. There we go. Right, so this is one of the new ones. It says we have to steal their money. I don't, I'm guessing they're inside the warehouse. I also had to wait because there was a bunch of police cars like driving past and I didn't want to start like shooting people in the middle of that. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little crap. I'm not going to lie. Having the silence pistol off rip has been so nice. Right, let's get in here. Oh, that, that is right down in the corner. Holy shit. Let's be honest. A guy the size of Lincoln, dude, he could just pull that door off the hinges. <laughs> like he really could. He could just rip the door off. Don't, I don't really want to walk right through there because I can't see anybody. Right, I see one guy there. I'm not. Shit, he has me pinned down. Your time is up, motherfucker. I am. Right, hold on. Hold on, look. I know sometimes I miss a few shots. I shot that man in the back of the head twice while he was running away, bro. What is that noise? I think it's... I think it's his body, like, freaking out. Right, hold on. What else we got? Dude. Oh, this little thing's nice, though. I like this. Oh, look at all that cash, though. Oh, that's us down. The, okay, that's us the whole way down. Right. Um, yeah, I don't need to destroy all this other shit, then. I'm guessing. We should probably destroy it while we're here anyway, just in case. Where is that? It says there's... That has to be on the outside of the building, right? I'm just going to destroy these anyway. I don't know if, like... I guess that's not the box I'm meant to be shooting. Is it that one? <laughs> on this one? 
This one? There we go, there we go. Right, so we still have our 10G to cause and damage. So our next part was go over. We'll have to kill a guy called Butterbean. As you can see, I've, I've shot a few of them. Look, I jumped into the water to see if I could like maneuver around the side and I got stuck in the water and just couldn't get out. There was nowhere for me to like Take mantle out. I literally had to climb over onto the dock over here. <laughs> I thought, right, I'll be smart. I'll sneak round. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll outmaneuver them. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't work. And there's a lot of people here as well. One more kill for him. Circle round him. He's cutting us down. Or you just keep coming around the same box. That's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so busy. I went round the side. I was like, right, I'll swim round. I'll have a wee look and we'll climb up. And then I climbed up onto this dock. There was nobody here when I climbed up onto the dock. And then when I climbed up, four people just appeared in front of me. I'm guessing this is an area I wasn't meant to be in just yet. And it just like auto spawned like all the guys. And near got me killed. It like near got me killed. I'm not gonna lie, the AK up close is very, very nice. I find myself just running out of ammo all the goddamn time, though. Like, we're down to five bullets already. I'm hoping as we play, like, a wee bit more through the game, we can get, like, deeper, like, um, like ammo reserves. Because, uh, your boy fires a lot of shots, all right? <laughs> so I'm gonna need some ammo. Right, so we just need to go back now and talk to Pablo. So the busy let you know what happened, right? I came down here, right? And I swam into the water. I was like, right, I'll have a wee look around and just see who there is. And then it wouldn't... This lip, apparently you can't climb back out of the water. And I was like, what do I do now? So I just basically went the whole way around here and had to go the whole way down to the dock there. I also just noticed there's giant ass alligators, bro. They, I, I'm hoping they weren't there in the water whenever I was swimming through. But yeah, that's what happened. I literally yeah, could done. not get out of the water. I just couldn't get out. Even like back onto the grass, it just wouldn't let me. Is not getting any more cargo out to Cuba. Good. Ah, he ain't getting anything anywhere, bro. Right, continue this will cause the remaining rackets of jackets to be removed. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is Pops Holland is seriously fucked things to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh, yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. But I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie loving piece of shit, Holland. But everybody, I think that's going to be a good spot to stop off for today's video. Before we finish, everybody, thank you so, so much for all the love and support. You guys have been absolutely killing. You've been leaving loads of comments. You've been putting emotes and stuff on the videos and liking the videos and it helps out so, so much. Like I said, I feel like we're just scratching the surface of this game. And like I said, we're what, like seven or eight episodes in already. But guys, thank you so, so much for all the love. I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you fucking want to on YouTube, have yourselves a fantastic day.